Stephen, the footage we're about to show you comes from a police officer's body camera positioned right here. And as you can see in that footage, things get out of hand quickly on what should have been a routine operation. At first glance, this video might seem like any other Detroit police raid on a drug house. But in reality, this is the type of mix-up that could have cost lives. More than two dozen heavily armed officers from the 11th Precinct raiding a home, unaware they're facing undercover cops from the 12th Precinct posing as drug dealers. Thank God no one got seriously hurt or even worse killed. We showed the disturbing footage we obtained from sources to retired Detroit Police Assistant Chief Steve Dolent. On the force more than 30 years, Dolent once took part in these types of raids and also ran Internal Affairs, the unit now investigating how things went horribly wrong. They'll do a deep dive on this. Oh, they're going to talk to all the officers. They're going to um, see if the proper notifications were made. If they weren't, why not? Eventually, the Wayne County prosecutor will review this to determine if criminal charges will be filed. The police chief already admitting a breakdown in communication prior to the incident Thursday night near Seven Mile and Andover. They appear to be like Keystone cops. I could not agree more. Very embarrassing to this organization. Thankfully, no officers were seriously hurt, unlike three decades ago when two died under similar circumstances. Red was a young guy just starting his career, and I believe he was single. Buffalo was married and had a family, and uh, it really uh, rocked the department. Two officers are now off the streets. A supervisor has also been reassigned. We will keep you updated as soon as we learn more about this situation. Live downtown, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. Yeah, we'll keep